Um, hello, hi, welcome back to BS Live. Today we're gonna take a look at um, Blender features that's uh, already available uh, since uh, Blender 2.5 or even before. Basically, we can have some kind of a uh, walkthrough or fly through in the 3D view. And I will be using this uh, 3D assets from Sketchfab. Um, it's called uh, the Halloway, Hello Whale Museum. I thought it was like Hallway Museum, but uh, this 3D assets by Thomas Flynn is basically a very, really good example of how, how maybe you experience um, a lot of different places uh, in the world, like virtually using um, whatever device you have, like VR or AR device, like on the iPhone or the iPad. So currently you can already experience it um, on your web browsers, like uh, uh, just like on Sketchfab like this, you you fly, you kind of like flying through and then you're, you're using, you're using a mouse of course, and you know, like just scrolling and then kind of going through different places like in this uh, 3D uh, representations of the Halliwell, Halliwell Museum. What's cool of us, of course, if you can click on it and then you get more information in Sketchfab and that's really kind of immersive in a way. Um, as a 3D artist, you probably get used to this and you, you might say, okay, yeah, I already know all this and I do this all the time using my 3D software, but I downloaded these assets and then I switched to Blender, right? So the same assets inside Blender, you have the floor plan, <coughs> excuse me, you got the floor plan and then the room names, etc. I actually turn on the room name in Blender. I simply selecting all of these and then holding options, you can turn on and off the, the object name. And inside Blender, of course, you can kind of orbit, rotate, um, as usual, zoom in, zoom out, and go inside the room. So that's uh, nothing new, but maybe many Blender artists still didn't know that you can also um, kind of use a uh, fly navigation or walk navigation. Walk navigation is actually really powerful, kind of like if you play a lot of games and you do a lot of walking with your character in the first person view. So this is what's gonna happen. So walk nav turn on walk navigations and suddenly um, you can use your mouse to look around. And there's actually, if you look at the bottom there, there's a, there's a way you can turn on graffiti by hitting tab or G. So I'm turning on graffiti now. It's almost like I'm inside the room, right? And start, I'm using AWSD to start working around. And this is, I think I found to be the most immersive way to experience the place. So even when you go down the stair, it's like a, you can get that kind of motion. And I think we are, oh, this is actually the entrance. Okay, cool. So let's go up, go upstairs again. We're gonna enter the, is it the dining room or? So there is no information, there's no sign, but uh, we just gonna explore it like this. So it's pretty cool. Small drawing room. Wow, look at this. This is a pretty good scan. Uh, so there's a mirror there, of course. We don't get reflection, etc. This is kind of like a, you can say like a low res representations of the whole museum, but uh, still it's kind of cool that you can experience it this way. So, okay, uh, by the way, I'm using Blender 2.79. You can actually use 2.8 as well, um, but it works really well on 2.79, even though the, the lighting is not as realistic. I'm gonna switch to 2.8 soon so you can see this this is morning room look at this how luxury this room is 
there's a big book and you can just it's a classic room is a it's rather something that you probably don't find easily look at this gun collections all these medieval weapons who lives inside this house smoking room wow it probably smells like smokes i don't really like smokers but I continue there's a piano room this is what is this great drawing room maybe they use it for live drawing sometimes look at this sitting on the fireplace etc so yeah this is what i mean that it's it's much more immersive this way even though uh i know this is like inside blender but uh just an example so i'm gonna quit this blend and i will be using uh blender 2.8 now with ev 2.8 now is i think alpha still alpha 2 but uh, they improve a lot this hallway ev all right we are losing uh, the texture because i yeah i think i changed something okay let's just open it so this is the blend from uh from uh previous blend right from, uh, from blender 2.79 it doesn't have any texture so it looks pretty crude now I need to replace the texture one by one but it's okay it's pretty easy so I'll just gonna assign the texture this is the floor plan of course so we get the floor plan this is the smoking room okay use notes turn on use notes it's gonna create principles bsdf shader image textures just assign it smoking room okay as you can see it's a uh, it's a little bit more immersive as you start adding texture but it, this is actually quite interesting i'll show you the whole process anyway so this is the target you can put a point light and if we go to material mode point lights start to react I think maybe there is a world influence here oh, okay so that's the render that's the one with texture so that's the render okay it's pretty cool <clears throat> so we have we just put a sim simple light there for now I'll turn on turn on this environment light so let's go inside and starting to add texture while we are in the walk mode so walk navigations turn on gravity and then we are back i will hide all these cursors uh all the tools and this make it full screen and start walking around as you can see this room is super wide uh, maybe added ambient occlusion as well so my computer doesn't have the most powerful GPU but uh, still pretty cool that we can do this on the fly while recording so which room is this probably uh, the great great drawing room with the fireplace yep I think it is So in in this version of Blender, this become a collection. Interesting. Great drawing room.
and I just add the material and now things seems to be disappearing okay maybe I should do it in this mode so probably I did I probably did something wrong there hopefully I have uh, the one that's working okay file save as it's still alpha after all okay let's do this properly use nodes assign it save it maybe I should go even lower like that okay this mode we can work faster let's do this properly first small drawing room once again use nodes principle for base color small drawing room small drawing room and the great drawing room has a lot of beautiful painting I realized after a couple of time just exploring um, this this place in uh, like virtually you can start to see you, you can start to remember places even this is the dining room um, open image. surfing room which is the the kitchen porcelain room it's a typical I think maybe it's like a rich house uh, rich person house uh, porcelain room a okay, billiard, billiard room so as you can see the the texture is uh, actually pretty basic it's just a color doesn't have any metallic specular roughness Imagine if, if it's got all that armory, okay. Morning room. It is almost all. Two more. This is the upper festivale. Okay, I think that's pretty much all. We are ready to browse around this place again in Blender 2.8. Probably the best way is to use a 3D view full. Now we are just kind of losing the texture. However, interesting. We need to reload. Let's go back to default. So it's, it's probably a bug, but uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to update. But we can just jump into it, I think, now. Okay, let's just do this. Let's uh, dim the light a little bit. And in this room, perhaps as a light. Okay. Cool. We 
<coughs> excuse me, we actually have a bit of shadow as well. And give some kind of dramatic light. Okay, cool. Let's walk around. Oh, walk navigations, turn on graffiti, and start walking around. Jump on table. This place even have a gong. Look at this. That's a gaming table right there. So let's see, what is this? Upper festival, okay. This is armory? No, it's the, the armory is this one. So armory selected. Let's redo redo the material. Now we are good. Back to our walk navigation. The billiard billiard room, of course. Select it. The texture is pretty large, I think maybe 4K. So back to walking navigation. Let's make it more immersive by making it bigger. Okay. You can even jump tapping V. Uh, what? Guess what room is this? This is probably the porcelain room. Start to remember the location of the room. I remember, like, you probably play a game like, uh, oops, I forgot to turn on the graffiti. You play a game like uh, Devil May Cry or even older game like Zelda, Final Fantasy, Super Mario. You remember rooms and it's pretty cool actually. Oops, can't go up. Let's uh, let's fly out. We're almost covering every room. Let's enter the small dwelling room, right? This is what is this upper vestibule? Okay. Uh, there is also the fly, fly navigation. This is also kind of nice, similar to Sketchfab. You can go faster or slower by scrolling the mouse. So if you go, <coughs> but I prefer the, the walking navigation. So this is the walking navigation. Again, turn on graffiti. Now, let's walk around. Look at the room. Dining room. Very nice. Go downstairs. I think that's the last one that doesn't have any texture yet. Oh, okay. It already has texture. Okay. I'll be covering everything except for this morning room. Save it. Okay, we cover everything. Let's start again. See, this is already out in the outside. And you enter the door. Start walking navigation. Go up the stair. Oops, doesn't have gravity yet. Tap G. Okay, now going up the stair. Okay, <clears throat> cool. Our grand 
dining room surfing room surfing room kitchen you can go go through the wall of course if you like oops and we fall So that's a basically fly and walk king navigations inside Blender, and we just experiencing the whole house uh, using Blender. Um, there is one thing that you can do is to kind of browse it. Using AR, for example, this is I'm testing using my iPhone kind of walking around this is a uh, I just exported this 3d assets as a USDZ now with the AR of course you have this like human motion I actually make this uh, asset like really small so I'm kind of like a giant looking down and kind of squatting and walking around the room it does feel you can kind of sense the realism so you can see I'm looking from the top this is like a super low res but see still it's pretty immersive you can't inter interact with anything as a VR of course it's gonna be probably more interesting but yeah there you go that's a quick look at uh, how you how you can use uh, sketchfab contents and then turning into assets that you can see in blender or as air objects i'll show you the air objects actually so this is the usdz format it's gonna work on Mac OS Mojave and iOS 12 so this is the objects okay cool so thanks again uh, I have to give the credits to the creator Thomas Flynn I think he made a lot of very interesting sketchfab model that you can experience okay hopefully you find this useful let me know what you think and yeah i guess i'll see you next time thank you bye